Hey YouTube, what's going on? Grunt Streams back again with another video. Hope everyone's having an amazing weekend so far. So today we're going to go over two new third generation Fire Sticks. One is the Fire TV Stick Lite and the other one is the direct replacement to the second gen Fire TV Stick. So here you go. This is your Fire TV Stick and your Fire TV Stick Lite. So pretty cool. And just so you guys can see like the difference. We got the old, well not the old, but the, the 4K stick. See the direct difference in the thickness, just a little bit thinner than the 4K stick. Right. So I'm gonna show you guys, we're gonna unbox these things. I'll show you what's inside and what's the difference inside the box. I mean, you can kind of, everything's kind of loose in there, so check it out so these are the two third generation fire sticks i'm gonna go ahead and open these up and show you the packaging inside so i've already took the liberty of opening this and boxing it just to, like i said i just wanted to see what was inside but as you can see you got your fire stick well actually this is the uh extender hdmi extender got your remote of course your cable but look how loose that fire stick is. That's not very nice. Fire stick. And of course you get one year of Food Network Kitchen, guys. And you got your manual. And of course on here on the side, that's where you got your wall adapter. And your batteries are in there, but I have them in the remote. So you got your wall adapter and just the same one as the second gen. So of course everything that's in this one, it's going to be all the same stuff that comes with the lights. But I'll show you guys the difference in the remote. Oh yeah, check out the difference in that remote. You got the volume controls, power button. This one doesn't have the power button. It has kind of like a little live TV button. If you have like apps like Pluto TV and stuff like that. But it doesn't have that option. That's why it's the light. It's $10 cheaper than the your regular third gen Fire Stick. There's some other things as well that keep it from hitting that expensive price point like Dolby Atmos and stuff like that I can show you guys on the computer in a little bit just the differences between the two I mean and this is a 4k fire stick so I'm just gonna show you guys the packaging inside and the difference that I mean check it out I mean each thing had its own little slot the fire stick had its own slot the remote batteries power adapter and then your hdmi extender and then you got your little manuals there i mean of course the packaging was a lot better with the older gen fire sticks for some reason but anything to save a buck nowadays. Pretty sure this these boxers are made out of like recycled cardboard anyways. But yeah, that's what's inside these boxes. We'll go ahead and show you some of the specs on them. All right, guys. So as you can see, this is comparing the new Fire TV Stick Lite and the new Fire TV Stick 3. And of course, it's comparing it with your Fire Stick 4K and your Fire TV Cube second gen. So you can see the price difference here, $29.99, $39.99, $49.99, and $119.99. Of course, your two new Fire Sticks are running at 1080p, while of course your 4K stick runs at 4K, and so does your Fire TV Cube second gen. The new sticks do not have Dolby Vision, so you can see right there and of course your audio decoding that's one of the main differences as well 
does not have Dolby Digital, Dolby Digital Plus, or Dolby Atmos as the Fire TV 3 does, the 4K, and you know that uh, Cube as well. The, the two new Fire Sticks and the 4K all run the same CPU. Of course, they got the D variant, the new third gens. That just means that they run at 1080p. And they all have the four core, which is a processor, yeah. And they all got the same GPU right there. And then I guess the main one of the other main differences, one gigabyte DDR4 RAM. While the 4K runs the 1.5 gigabyte DDR4. So the third gen, their second gens, I'm sorry, ran a one gigabyte of DDR3. So this is an upgrade from that second gen. And of course they all have Bluetooth 5 and they have eight gigabytes of storage while the cube runs at 16 gigabytes of storage. And then one of the awesome things on these new third gens, native support via USB OTG. So that means you can expand that storage with the simple little cable and you can purchase off Amazon for like seven, eight bucks. Um, and you can expand your storage as native support. The 4K Fire Stick has unofficial support. You have to do some ADB commands as well to, to uh, transfer apps to your external storage. So this is a lot better in my opinion. And then of course the light remote does not have your device control buttons. It doesn't have your power, volume up, volume down, mute. That light stick does not have those options. It does have a live channel guide button, but uh, if you're putting third party applications, this is basically going to have no use for you. Um, the operating system, these two new third gens run Fire OS 7, which is Android 9, while the 4K Fire Stick runs Android 7.1. So they all come with the HDMI the HDMI extenders. So yeah, this is these are the remotes. You got your Fire Stick Lite remote here. And then your third gen Fire TV stick. This is the one that's replacing the second generation uh, Fire TV stick directly. So if you're not a big fan of the volume controls and you're not a big fan of, we're not picky about sound and all that, then this light version, you know, would be good for you. You're saving $20 from the 4K Fire Stick. But overall, I'm still going to recommend that 4K. It just runs a lot smoother. You get a little bit more RAM in anyways. So if you're looking for a new device, just go with the 4K. Prime Day is coming up this coming week. So you can pick one of those up for probably $25. But we'll see how that goes. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around to the end of this video. I appreciate everyone's support on my channel. Please hit that like button. New videos coming soon. We're going to be going over the installation process on these new fire sticks and some new tips and tricks on the next video. So stick around, hit that bell notification icon, and I'll see y'all in the next one.